Excellent. Uh, Daniel Hailu, uh, you are the regional head for MasterCard uh, Foundation based in uh, uh, Nairobi, Kenya, and you are charged in charge of Eastern and Southern Africa um, a partnership and strategic uh, overseeing strategic implementation and stakeholder engagement in the region. So Absolutely, that's correct. So welcome to this edition of Dialogue for the Future. And uh, we are thrilled to have you. Uh, we would like to have this discussion with you to see how the foundation is uh, coping with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic we have around the world. So um, we're going to start this uh, interview, which is a, a discussion, you know, completely uh, simple uh, relaxed discussion, which both of us are doing, obviously, from our home um, because of the conditions. And uh, this is a series we call Dialogue for the Future. Uh, in it, we had some uh, prestigious people before, including um, the president of uh, Turkey. Uh, and uh, we also had uh, the president of um, of uh, Niger uh, some couple of uh, years ago and mm -hmm. uh, today we having a discussion with you uh, we in between of course we had had uh, different as a players and uh, this is the first we're doing focus on oh, wow, okay. so welcome uh, to this uh, first on COVID-19. So for those who do not know about the foundation, of course, uh, MasterCard Foundation is one of the largest around the world. But for those who are listening to us uh, and who do not know about the foundation, please tell us what the foundation is all about. What do you do and how do you do it? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. So, so the MasterCard Foundation um, is, um, as you mentioned, is, is one of the largest uh, foundations uh, today. Um, it's a fairly new foundation as well. I'll start there. So it was established in 2006 um, and uh, it was oper it operates independently of the MasterCard company as well. Just something that I wanted to point out. That's something that we always clarify up front. So independent, we have our own board of directors, our own management. Um, so we're not very old. 2006 is not that long ago. Um, our aim is, is, is really focused on advancing education, financial inclusion uh, to catalyze prosperity across Africa. Uh, the foundation also works to support indigenous uh, young people in Canada. So those are our two um, areas of focus. Um, building on our work of the last decade, uh, in 2018, we, we had a um, uh, I think a, what I would call a, a milestone event when we launched our Young Africa Works strategy. So this is the foundation strategy for the next decade. Um, and we will focus our work to enable 13 million young people in Africa, especially focusing on young, young women to secure employment that they see fit um, is being dignified and fulfilling. So in a, in a snapshot, that's who we are, um, young, vibrant. Um.